what's good what's good what's good lovely soul empress here coming to you to do aries july uh love reading just a couple quick things started my patreon okay so um all extended readings will be available on the patreon um plus uh daily energy checks weekly energy checks and a lot more okay so if you're interested in that that link will be in the description box as well um in the patreon the six month predictions from july to december are up already and i'm doing july now today is the what 17th and um aries is going up in there so if you're interested in getting your readings early or if any of that appeals to you like i said you can join the patreon if you do not want to join the patreon but you want to buy an extended reading you can email me at lovely soul empress at gmail.com with the um title of the uh extended that you want and you can uh send payment for 555 to um lovely soul empress at cash app or uh paypal at lovely soul okay so that's the two ways you can get the extended all right so let's get into it um i did your pre-shuffle you got the emperor was the first card out that is your energy so i feel like um you're showing up here in a very strong energy but you got the two of wands so there's something that you need to make a decision about and then the sun came out there could be a leo of importance okay or um something is being illuminated to you by that two of so two of um wands right and then you got the emperor again so i feel like you're dealing with either another aries taurus or scorpio or uh this is an alpha so it's like two two emperors right rewrite your love story i feel like somebody is going back and recategorizing something and then you got secret love okay so you could have a secret love they could have a secret love and then uh what came out was lust okay so i feel like this secret love is based on lust okay uncharted territory uh new levels of unconditional love came out and then there's gossip. So there could be word of this uh, secret love that could be getting out whoever are the players in that situation. Then you also got bounty hunter. So I feel like somebody's hot on the trail, right? Then you got success, okay? So this could be success in keeping the secret, but I felt like more whoever is on the trail of this, let's say your partner, you find out that they are... Um, that they have a secret love you're on the trail of that right if you are the person that is in the secret love relationship the other person is on the trail of that and that part is a success okay and then you also got too many responsibilities okay so i feel like whoever is the person that has a secret love is getting caught up because they can't keep all the details straight okay so uh you got helpful people um i feel like that's it depends on how you look at it, right? But I feel like the gossip, it's not helpful, but it is because some somebody gets the reveal of some information. Okay, they might not even know that they're revealing something to you. Okay, then you got self-love. And it says, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. Okay, so this could be a situation that reminds you of something in your past and it, it provokes you to like fill your own cup or there's a need to do that. Divine Source, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and that the right actions will come. You are my source for all. So I feel like there's a need to trust in the divine or there's an acknowledgement that spirit is saying that you are putting your uh, faith in them. Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for your for you wherever I go, right? So spirit is telling you, no matter how this situation turns out, like there's something in it that is positive. And so therefore you have to be 
like respond with gratitude, respond with the, like, so let's say you come across a discovery, right? You might feel like it's a painful discovery, but at the same time, you need to thank the universe for bringing it to your attention because it could have been a lot worse if you didn't know about it later. And then inner child, which goes back to this self-love where it mentions the inner child, right? And you say, allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings so this is like you being true to your inner child going within something about something that you've shut away that you're trying to recapture okay so we're gonna get right into it i'm gonna pull a celtic spread we're gonna see what's going on here spirit can you give me one card for the situation for aries one card one card for the situation for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. For Aries, one card, I will take the one that's on the bottom, Spirit, one card for the blockage, for my Aries gang gang, one card for the blockage, please use me as your vessel, Spirit, please allow those benevolent ancestors and spirit guides to come through. One card, Spirit, thank you. Uh, can you give me um, what is at the foundation of this situation, Spirit? What is at the foundation? One card, thank you. One card of the energy that's falling away, Spirit, please. One card for the energy that's falling away from my Aries gang gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you show me, Spirit? One card. Okay, and one card for the energy that's crowning my Aries gang gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. I'll take the one on the bottom. One card for the energy that's coming in, Spirit. Can you show me one card for the energy that's coming in? One card for the energy that's coming in. Can you show me? Okay. Can you show me one card how Aries sees themselves, Spirit? One card for Aries, how they see themselves. Can you show me one card for how Aries sees themselves? Thank you. Can you show me one card for how others see Aries, please? Can you show me one card for how others see Aries? One card for how others see Aries, please. Thank you. Okay, and can you give me one card for what is in the hopes of fears of my Aries gang gang? Thank you. And one card for the most likely outcome spirit. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is the overall energy. Oh, my nose is itching. All right, so the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you want to go to Karma Waters. There might be a lot going on right now. Spirit, why is the Six of Swords here? Can you show me? Knight of Wands. Okay, so... I feel like this could be your energy because you are Aries, right? You could feel like there's been some impulsive actions, whether it's you or someone around you says messenger of acting first and thinking later, right? Wanting to go to common waters from maybe from a situation that either you or someone else didn't think through all the way. Three of cups. This could involve uh, a third party or this could be like something that happened at an event and somebody didn't think through their actions. Now you have the tower. This is the card of Scorpio in the blockage. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But why does this tower here, Spirit? So um, there is some kind of revelation, unwanted or unexpected surprise about somebody juggling two of pentacles. Okay, this is that discovery that I was talking about, right? Giving to two situations, two ideas or two people. Right? Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck in their head because this has been revealed. And then um, the Page of Cups. Somebody's apologizing. Like, I feel like if you are the person that is discovering this, then you, um, this person is apologizing to you. If you are the person that they are cheating with, they're apologizing to you because they know that shit is about to get funky and the whole situation has been discovered. If you are the person who has, you know, a person and then a third party, you're apologizing, I feel like, to both of them. Now, the King of Wands is at the foundation, Spirit. Why is that? 
Now this is your energy, okay, Aries, but this could, you could also be dealing with a King of Wands. So I feel like, you know, you go after what you want, right? But there's a Ten of Swords here, okay? This person could have betrayed you. You could be trying to hold on to this person's energy or, um, you're discovering this person's energy and you're like, you know, um, like ready to go off on your own journey. But I feel like for a lot of yous, no. I feel like you're aware of some type of betrayal or you, because I'm really feeling like you could be the person that they're involved with. Right? And maybe there's some a reveal of information that obviously affects you, right? You're like, why the fuck did you keep that? Or why did you, you know, leave the messages in your phone or some shit like that, right? And then here's Justice, the card of Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody could be married here and this could be bringing an end to a situation, right? Because some proof is discovered. Or um, this is like some karma coming back because somebody was doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. And the Ace of Wands because of passion, right? Now, the Knight of Wands is the energy that's falling away. Spirit, why is this? Can you show me why? Okay, so uh, the Knight of Wands, like I said, that could be your energy or somebody was coming in and out. Right? But it feels like um, a Three of Cups. This could be like the ending of a third party situation or like saying, hey, we need to put a kibosh on this right now because we're being watched the devil there's some type of toxicity here right and it's the discovery and it's like wanting to sneak around but not being able to meet up or some shit king of wands is again at the bottom of uh the deck provider of authority and charm ten of wands it's burdensome to see each other right now the tower because there's already been a tower right so now the wheel of fortune spirit this is what's crowning you right now spirit why is this wheel of fortune here can you show me why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Now, you have to put yourself in this situation as it resonates. The role that you're in. Spirit, can you show me why this Wheel of Fortune is here, Spirit? So, this could have happened before. In this relationship, another relationship, right? But something's changing and the Five of Cups is crossed and it says, damn, this sucks, Right? So it's like the regret is that you can't see each other right now. It's like a timeout with the Wheel of Fortune. The situation has changed, right? Don't regret the action. Regret that they can't see each other right now. The world, right? And this world could be because this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or the person that is considered the quintessential spouse has found out. And this Ten of Wands, I mean, Ten of Pentacles, that's the family, right? And the Four of Wands, the joyous home, right? So they're trying to um, shore up this relationship or you are, right? Whoever is the person that has brought in the third party is trying to shore up this relationship. So that's why timeout has to be had here with the Seven of Wands, okay? Now, the Six of Cups in the reverse is the energy that's coming in. Spirit, can you show me? Can you show me, Spirit, why the Six of Cups is here in reverse? Okay, so you have the Six of Cups in reverse. So somebody wants a reconciliation, but it doesn't feel possible right now. Now, this could be the person that's in the relationship and their partner doesn't want them back because they discovered that they were doing something. Or this could be them saying, we can't see each other right now because my situation's not solid, right? Three of Pentacles trying to collaborate, right? Eight of Pentacles working hard. Now, you could also work with this person and they're like, we can only see each other at work or some shit like that. Watch me work avenue, right? Collaboration avenue, right? With the six of cups in reverse. This also could be this person saying, I'm not dealing with them when they are. Queen of cups. It could be a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio of importance, right? This is the mistress, the high priestess, whether this be you, them, whoever. They're keeping the secret of this person. Now, the eight of pentacles, spirit. Why is this the way that Aries sees themselves? Can you show me? So it's hard work to not see each other. Four of swords in reverse. It's like 
not resting and healing. And I feel like whoever is the person that is in the relationship, that that's their significant other, they're not healing either. King of Wands, okay? I feel like this King of Wands, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, um, they're trying to be uh, charming, but also trying to keep their power. But it's becoming burdensome to handle both, okay? And the attention with the Six of Wands, like they, you know, it's a lot of attention that all eyes on me I'm hearing. So like this person is under a magnifying glass, whether this is you, them, whomever it may be, right? Because of tower, there's already a crack, right? And it won't take much to bring that bitch down, right? Here's the Nine of Pentacles, right? Whoever is the quintessential spouse in this situation is like, listen, I'll, I'll fucking piece you out, right? So now this Six of Pentacles, this is how others see you, okay? This could be given to two situations or they see you tolerating too much, like somebody's not giving equally to you. Spirit, can you show me why? So they feel like, you know, you might get yourself in situations where you don't, um, you know, where people don't give to you equally and you end up being left out in the cold. You could have been dealing with this person for a while. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. They give you a smidgen. Just enough to keep you there. Okay. And then here is the Four of Wands. Um, and meanwhile, they might tell you like, you know, it's the home life, but I, I can't close it out right now. Or one day I'll close it out so we can be together and then you can be the queen of pentacles. Right. But they're just like keeping you on hold. Now, this queen of swords is your hopes and is your in your hopes and fears. Spirit, why is this? So uh, the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is the divorced um, person, feminine energy, right? This is, um, you know, cutting away things that no longer serve you. So I feel like, and this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel like you fear that this person will block you or that you'll have to block. Like, it depends on what your role is in this situation. If you are the spouse... Like, you're afraid you'll have to divorce this person. If you are the person who has two people, then you're afraid that your person, your main person, will um, know the truth and cut you with their sword. And then, you know, it'll be over. And if you're the person that is the third party, um, you're afraid that their spouse will, will make them cut you off. Okay? I hope I explained that right right and the three of wands like that's waiting it feels like you're waiting for some shit to happen now if you're the third party you could also be waiting for this queen of swords to cut off this person so that you guys could be together for these future future plans right but on um, there's some type of judgment this is the card of scorpio five of wands there's a lot of conflict in this okay now you have the world as the most likely outcome spirit why is this world here as the most likely outcome So the world, this is the ending of something. This is also can be finding out something on the online, right? And then here's the 10 of wands, the burdens, right? So I feel like this bounty hunter, whether it is you, them, whomever it is, they, they're no longer hot on the chase. They have the goods. And so now whoever is the person that has two people is having to put an end to this situation. Or let's say you're the third party. You have to remove yourself because you're like, I can't, I can't um, deal with this shit. King of Swords, right? I feel like the masculine, if he is the one, male or female, who has the two parties, he's going to cut off something. Okay, um, because uh, he something's being illuminated. Eight of Cups. There's somebody that this person that their their significant other will walk away from them, and they feel like this is a soulmate connection, right? Now, if you are their committed person, then that's how they feel about you. If you are the third party, then that they will cut this off to be with that person. Spirit, why is this King of Swords the overall energy of the read? Can you show me? Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So I feel like um, they might not give you a reason. They might just cut you off or something like that. Or 
you know, um, they might feel, okay, so like, let's say this is your person and, and you are the significant other. You may never get clarity on what really happens here. Nine of Pentacles, right? Because I feel like um, in some ways, this person would rather end up single than have to like disclose all that they were doing with this tower, okay? Like they'll try to play that to see if that can save them. But ultimately, the relationship that this person is in, whether this is you, them, or, you know, whomever it is, that's the relationship they want to solve. I mean, save, okay? Spirit, can you show me what my Aries gang gang should be working on? Okay, so um, they said my storage was full, so it cut off. I had to delete a bunch of shit, but you got the discipline card, okay? So um, let's say you're the person that this person was cheating on. I feel like you are trying to uh, pull your energy back or put the pieces together, okay? Methodically, all right? And also trying to love on yourself with this self-love, gratitude, inner child, right? Now, if you are the person they were dealing with, I feel like you are trying to uh, show discipline and pull back, although it's very difficult, okay? Um, so I'm going to pull situations and then we're going to jump into the extended spirit. Is there anything else we need to know about this situation? Thank you. So um, this person could have children. You could have children with them. There's children involved in this situation. If you're the third party, you're, they're telling you that they're only with this person because they weren't trapped by children. If you are the significant other, they're telling, oh, well, you know, this person was just trying to entrap me. Like, they're trying to make some shit up. And then here's the hamster wheel, circles and circles, going around in circles, right? So there's an energy of, like, you've been here before, okay? So um, this is where I'm going to uh, go into the extended, okay? We are going to be looking at... Uh, their true feelings, what's their true intentions, what they're hiding, and uh, what they're currently experiencing, and the most likely outcome. So if you're interested in that, um, like I said, uh, join me on Patreon or uh, hit me up at lovelysoulempress at gmail.com so that I can send you the extended after you've made payment for five fifty five for the extended reading. If this is where we part ways, wishing you love and light, okay, just want to thank all my subscribers for coming through and spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.